We're in the Parkland region of Manitoba. I'm Jason Hamilton. This is Jeff Anderson from the ice team. We're chasing first ice brown, rainbow, and tiger trout. We're gonna catch them and it's gonna be a great show and you don't wanna miss it. We're the ice team, bring it. Located amidst the vast rolling prairies of southwestern Manitoba, are a series of lakes meticulously managed to grow trophy trout. And local guide Jason Hamilton and ice team angler Jeff Jiggy Anderson are chomping at the bit, but it's important to first test the hard water. Hey Jeff, let's drill a hole with this uh, auger and yeah, see yeah. how much ice we have. It looks pretty solid so far. Yeah, she's she's thick, buddy. Yeah, I think so. It looks like we got a good seven, eight inches here. Chasing trout on frozen lakes is a matter of drilling lots of holes and staying mobile. Just like butter. Of course, the right presentation can make all the difference too. Hey, Jason, you going with a psycho shad or are you going to go with the small plastic? I'm going to try that psycho shad to start with and see if there's some aggressive fish in this area and maybe try the uh, soft plastic approach. We'll give them the old one too. Up, oh, on, just smoked it, Jason. Great on, Jeff, it looks like a good one. You know what, this isn't a 30 pound fish, but the battle on this light rod. When your gear is matched it, yep. to the fish that you're fighting, and then it is clear water, they're pretty lion and shy. So we got four pound test, and you can see. And an awesome battle. I, she, I mean, she's hooked really good. Here you go. Yeah, we scooped her Oh, nice yeah. fish, Jeff. <laughs> All right. That's a beauty. Oh, let me take a look at this animal. Wow, look at that. Just a beautiful, beautiful animal. Let me get that hook out here. You know, and, and the, there's three species that we're targeting here, right? We're rainbows, brooks, and tiger trout. And brown trout as or well. Or brown trout, right, yeah. okay. So no brook trout, it's brown, rainbows. Brown, rainbows, and tiger trout, and which tigers. is a hybrid, right, between the brook trout and the brown trout. That's right, okay. Awesome, let's get her back. Wow, thank you, girl. Jason and Jeff know just how good early ice fishing can be, but they also know the hazards. There's certain things you can have with you on the ice to make sure you stay safe and you can rescue anybody that does go through the ice. Let me show you what I'm talking about right now. I've got a pair of ice picks here, indispensable. If someone does go through the ice, you can use these, stick them in the ice, pull yourself up. Otherwise, it's very slippery, very difficult to get up. You'll see I've got the Ice Armor lift suit on. What that does, it offers some buoyancy in the jacket and the pants, and it doesn't hold water. So you're not going to be weighed down when you're trying to self-rescue up onto the ice. A throw rope. When you're traveling in your group, someone can have this. Throw it out to anybody that goes through the ice. Rescue them from a safe location. And that way you can make sure that they're going to get out of the water as quickly as possible. The other thing I have here is a life vest. You know, you've got storage pockets, you've got hand warmer pockets, you've got a place to put your ice picks and a whistle to uh, alarm anybody that you're in distress. There's not a lot of snow at first ice for the most part. So these Catula spikes, you're walking out on bare ice, it's going to give you the grip you need so you're not falling down and uh, landing on your butt and making a bunch of noise on the ice. These products will make sure you stay safe and enjoy ice fishing for years to come. Jason and Jeff are fishing depths averaging only five feet. They're using a combination of aggressive and slow presentations to figure out the mood of the trout. Yes, there he is. You got hey, her, Jeff, Jay? I got one on. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> awesome, like buddy. Hooked one, up, Jeff. hooked up. Yeah, what do you got? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like a better fish here. That's a nice rainbow, buddy. I just saw it. Here she comes. You right. ready? Yep. Yep. Oh, <laughs> nice fish. Look at that one. What an amazing rainbow there, buddy. Big, chunky rainbow. Oh, look at that one. What a he fight. He smoked it. He just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Boy, green colors, a nice pink stripe. Smashed the bait. That was awesome. Just pure battle. Oh, hang on there, Betsy. <laughs> we'll hang get on. that hook out She of doesn't it. like this that much. Wow, what an amazing battle. It's pretty cold out. Awesome let's, fish. Let's yeah, we should get her back, her back in the right water. Away. Yep. Ice Team Tactics, brought to you by Arctic Cat. 
share our passion. These fish aren't relating to anything really specific to structure, and so you've got to drill a lot of holes. You've got to stay on top of the fish, follow the schools, find out what area of the lake that they're using. To do that, it's a lot of work. And you've got to have a number of tools in your arsenal to make that easier. And one of the best tools that have come along recently is the Clam Ice Auger Conversion Kit. It's lightweight, it drills a lot of holes quickly, easy to carry around, but most importantly for this first ice trout game, it's quiet. You're fishing shallow water, there's no engine running on this, and you're drilling these holes and getting on top of these fish without spooking them out of the area. The other thing you use, you have your fish trap shelters. Put all your stuff in there, tow it around behind you, you can set it up as an area and drill a pile of holes and then dial in your area from there. But the ice armor suits, this allows you to fish outside in inclement weather. You can go fish a hole for two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes if you see a fish on your Vexlar. Do this, stay mobile, drill a lot of holes and you'll catch more fish. Hooked up. Got him, Jason. I raised it up. I got oh, him. Yeah. There you go. Right <laughs> on, man. Yeah, yeah. It's a good one, buddy. All oh, right on. Better fish, eh? Yeah. Oh, nice brown trout. Is it a brownie? Big, huge, massive head shakes. Oh, just a beautiful brown trout. There you go. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that what animal. What a fish, buddy. Yes, this is, this is the animal that we wanted right here. What a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous battle. Look at, look at oh, the eggs. Wow, what what a battle. Just be cooked right there, that soft little plastic. Oh, oh man, what an amazing fish. We'll get her unhooked here. Special, special animal. This, this is the fish that you travel all the way oh, up here boy. to catch. I mean, this is a truly a special animal. Such nice colors. I mean, these bright spots, the golden brown color. What a fish. And they're tackle busters yeah. too. <laughs> I mean, they just wear you out. I know, I want to get this fish back. Truly a special thing Let's for me. get her back, get some more. Look at how beautiful that animal is. Wow, thank you, Mr. Brownie, or Mrs. Brownie, or. Yeah. <laughs> When we're out here trout fishing, there's two different types of presentations we're using, but more importantly, we're matching the fishing rod to those presentations. Now, the two types of presentations is one is a swimming lure. This is a Psycho Shad by Clam Tackle. Now, what you want to look for in a, in a fishing rod to match that is a long rod. This is a 30-inch Jason Mitchell walleye series rod, rod, actually, but it's a rod that has a pretty stiff backbone, which allows me to control that lure on my upstroke and my downstroke, and then when I get that fish to strike, it loads up. It's an even load and it loads right up and it helps drive those hooks home. Now, the other type of presentation is a more subtle presentation. That's a small jig with a piece of plastic. Now this is what we're having the most success on and let me tell you why I really like using the Jason Mitchell meat stick. Now a lot of times we're fishing five to six feet of water, we're not actually marking these fish until they're on the baits. They're really aggressive strikes but if you take a look at this tip, it's a really light tip so that allows a little bit of forgiveness when those fish strike but the tip loads up into a really hard backbone. So what that does is it gives me a little forgiveness, hard backbone, drives that hook home and allows me to catch and land more fish. Boy, oh boy, you got the hot bait here. I just switched up actually to the, the epoxy drop jig with the Mackey Mackey plastic. Right. And it's, it's really, a, really a special lure. I mean, it just com comes to life and it's got a little shine on it. There we go, look at that. Beautiful Very well, beautiful clean rainbow trout. Man, look at that, look at beautiful that. Beautiful fish here. Epoxy drop. Just, he ate that, didn't he? Just pounded it, yeah, and you know, this is a really unique lure. I mean, it's uh, it's a lure that, you know, Clam Pro Tackle just came out with, and truly a special lure, and and it did the trick on this beautiful, A little bit of shine on the head there, trout. a little bit of color. We've been, white has been the, the ticket here. Yep for us, and that's what the fish have been keying in on. typically you caught fish on white tubes. That's kind of your mainstay. That's the, and, the comfort lure here. Yep, and that's kind of why I switched to this, you know, this epoxy drop is it, it's got the, the kind of the tentacles, you know, Just it's a like mackie, the mackie plastic with, with the epoxy drop and same profile same everything and she just came in and chowed it. What a, what a, another special animal and just full of spunk. We'll get her back down in the hole. 
There she goes, buddy. What a nice fish. You know, one of the challenges when fishing shallow water is the ability to see your bait and also mark fish. Now, we're talking shallow water five, four, maybe even sometimes three feet. But something that you can do with your transducer is actually use the transducer float to prop it up. And then the goal is, is you want this transducer in the center of your hole and you only want that transducer as low as the bottom of the ice, that's gonna allow you to mark fish, and especially fish that are higher in the water column, and see your bait for a longer time while you need to catch more fish. Nice fish came in hot. There he goes. Yeah, <laughs> nice fish, got him. <laughs> what do you got, buddy? <laughs> I'm hooked up on a nice rainbow. He tried yep. to jump right out of the hole, now he's running. <laughs> Look at him scream off drag. <laughs> <laughs> This is what every fisherman dreams about. You know, ice fishermen, summer fishermen, it doesn't matter. It's, it's this moment right here, this, this battle right here, is, you know, it's a pure battle. <laughs> what a fish, buddy. There he is. Fish. What a <laughs> football. What an unbelievable battle. I mean, like, if oh. somebody was to watch this, they would think that you were battling a 30 pound fish on that, that line. Look at this animal. Wipe them off there, just chrome bullet silver. Just beautiful colors and a beautiful battle and for you got sure. her hooked up. I'll get her unpinned here. Man, what he did take it down. I didn't think he was hooked as well as he was. Sure. Yep, right in that. Wow, barbless hook just pops right out. Get this guy back. Thanks very much. That was a heck of a battle. To begin your own quest for world-class trout under the ice, visit travelmanitoba.com. For information on the combinations in the Parkland area, contact Jason Hamilton through his website, jasonhamiltonoutdoors.com. Ice Team would like to thank the following partners for their support. Clam, Bring It, Ice Armor, Thorn Brothers, Custom Rod and Tackle, Arctic Cat, Share Our Passion, Jason Mitchell Elite Series, The Original Mr. Heater, Recycled Fish, Vexilar, Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. FishUSA.com, America's Tackle Shop. Nebulous, emergency flotation device. Fish is Fishing. Zippo Outdoor. Bass Pro Shop. Tatula. And Gander Mountain. We live outdoors.